Reading with Jesus was really great and funny. I loved the dialogue between the characters and the build up, um, the sort of philosophy that's tied into everything, and the, the question that you get as the viewer not being really sure what is going on with the character in the back seat. Um, I love the ending. It's something that I think, as a kid for sure, I've always wondered about if they were to encounter each other, and I think it's, it's funny the way it, it was explored in the short film. Really entertaining. Writing with Jesus was very funny. It had almost like a satirical, forceful tone to it. And uh, this guy drives a Uber driver and something, and he has Jesus in his back seat. And there's this funny dialogue back and forth. Uh, had a self contained story, which was nice. And had me laughing the whole time. It was very funny. Uh, it was well shot, well directed. Transition, the transitions were pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I, I'd watch it again. The short film Riding with Jesus was a really fun ride. Um, it felt like a Hallmark movie in the opening. I really, I really enjoyed that. Uh, just that feel good feel of you're about to watch something that would make you feel good. Uh, I really just wanted to see more. I thought the actors were great in this and especially basically it was just in a car and I, I honestly just kept thinking, Ooh, what's next? What's next? Is this really going to be Jesus? <laughs> like, I want to see where he's going. And just, it was neat that I felt that way. But then at the end, I really wanted more still. So I don't know. I could see this being a feature and I did like the twist with him beating up Santa, <laughs> kicking his butt. So I thought it was really fun, funny short, wanted to see more. The actors are good. You know, the technical stuff was good, the camera work, the lighting, uh, the costumes were great, uh, great use of the lighting um, as far as, I know there was a moment with the lighting in the car with Jesus being highlighted and like he was, you know, like it was like, oh, uh, just a lot of fun and great job all around. This film is called Riding with Jesus. This was such a clever short. A cab driver picks up a man who we think is dressed up as Jesus. We slowly learn the truth as the witty dialogue continues. The performances of the two leads were excellent. I loved the frank, honest performance of the cab driver and the laid back Jesus until the end, that is. The upbeat, cheerful music under the action really worked and the nighttime lighting and special effects were really fun. Well done, Flick. Riding with Jesus. Check it out, you'll love it. Riding with Jesus was a, was a fun little little story. Um, it's ride share and you know, is he Jesus? Who knows? And it's a, it's just a fun little story um, with a lot of funny moments. The guy who plays Jesus does a really good job, especially when he just references these people and says these things that, like, obviously some random person shouldn't know. Um, so I think overall, you know, it's a pretty solid piece. Um, and, yeah, and then the ending is being up Santa Claus. That's funny, too. Um, yeah, it's solid, funny, good moments. What a great concept. Just driving Jesus home in a taxi. Uh, the all-knowing, all-loving Jesus who treats everyone with understanding and respect, which made that final moment of him beating up Santa deeply funny. Chef's kiss on that. I thought both performances were great. The, the chemistry was awesome, how they bounced off one another. And I thought the dialogue was extremely sharp and built on itself really well. Uh, it never seemed to really drag as well, which is hard when you are doing two people in a car talking to each other, but they made it really vibrant and fun and uh, built up to that final moment quite brilliantly. It's definitely a unique concept, but does the guy get converted with everything he witnesses? Um, this also could be expanded into a feature. It definitely has feature possibilities. Um, does uh, this guy has a lot of questions it was well written it was well done a little blasphemous but in a good way mm -hmm. um 
wasn't too offensive, but it's definitely interesting. Um, and it ended with Jesus fighting Santa Claus, which was definitely a unique twist. Um, but yeah, it'd be the main question is, does the guy riding around get converted or is he scared off forever? But it was really well done, well written, just two characters riding around in a car. So I just finished watching um, Riding with Jesus, which is actually a, a more clever piece than you might first think when you think of the um, media setup, which is um, an Uber driver, a, um, a rideshare driver, or bringing, picking up Jesus and having conversations with someone who either is or actually Jesus or claims to be Jesus. There's actually a, a good philosophical background for the piece that creates a level of humor that consistently works. Normally, this occurs when they run into the side characters, the people in the street from in the beginning and in the end. But a lot of the interplay between the driver and Jesus um, actually has a lot of um, depth that you wouldn't think that this kind of vehicle could um, encompass when it's so um, geared to being funny most of the time. But I thought that there was a great balance between humor and sort of insight and a lot of um, very cheeky twists on um, the concept of Jesus and how to exploit the central conceit of having Jesus in his car at this time. All of it sort of culminates in a really uh, funny ending with someone who you, you would, I guess, assume is Jesus' natural um, enemy in Santa Claus. And the story really has a, a great sense of humor to play out with a concept that is might feel a little bit taboo for certain people. But it's both silly and insightful in a way that I thought um, really ended up working.